हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टी टू ऑन बेसिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स इन अर्दियर लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज रिग्रेशन एंड व्हाट इज द एम ऑफ रिग्रेशन वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू ऑप्टेन लाइन्स ऑफ रिग्रेशन विथ डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ड इन जी टी यू समर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एग्जाम the following show the gain in reading speed of three students in a speed reading program and the number of weeks they have been in the program so here we are given number of weeks and corresponding speed gain in those particular number of weeks fit a straight line by the method of least squares so here it is specified that we have to fit a straight line using the method of least squares so if we recall that in method of least squares uh, we consider line of regression of y on x as y equal to a plus bx and then we write down the normal equations normal equations are sigma y equal to n into a plus b times sigma x where n is the number of points given in the bivariate data and for second normal equation we multiply equation 1 by x so we have xy equal to ax plus bx square and we take summation over all possible values for this equation therefore sigma xy will be equal to a times sigma x plus b times sigma x square these two are known as normal equations for estimating values of these two constants a and b and we had written the formulas for estimating these two constants now if you don't want to remember those two formulas you can solve these two equations for constants a and b using cramer's rule so in cramer's rule first we write down the determinant of coefficients of a and b in first equation coefficient of a is n coefficient of b is sigma x in second equation coefficient of a is sigma x and coefficient of b is sigma x square then we write down determinant d1 which we obtain by replacing this first column by this values sigma y and sigma xy so here we write sigma y sigma xy we keep this column as it is sigma x sigma x square instead of writing d1 we can denote this by d suffix a because we are replacing the column corresponding to a by the column of constants on this side and we consider determinant denoted by d suffix b as we replace this second column by these two constants sigma y sigma xy and uh, we keep first column in d as it is n times sigma x first we write down determinant of coefficients of a and b that is n sigma x sigma x and sigma x square that we denote by d to find out constant a we consider this determinant da which we obtain by replacing this first column by this two constants sigma y sigma x y and to write down the determinant corresponding to constant b we replace this column of d by these two constants and we keep this as it is and we know that by cramer's rule constant a is given by this determinant corresponding to a divided by d so if we expand this we have sigma x square times sigma y minus sigma x times sigma xy divided by determinant d so if we expand this we have n times sigma x square 
minus sigma x whole square. Similarly, we can obtain value of b as d suffix b divided by d. This determinant is n times sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y divided by determinant d that is n into sigma x square minus sigma x into sigma x that is sigma x whole square. We had written these two formulas directly in previous lecture but if we don't want to remember these two formulas we can obtain values of a and b using Kramer's rule and using these determinants in this way. So whenever you are asked to find out line of regression using method of least squares you have to use this method only. In this question we are asked to fit a straight line by the method of least squares so we have to use this method only. So first we denote the number of weeks by variable x and we denote the speed gain by variable y and we assume that y equal to a plus bx be the straight line of best fit to the given data. Now to obtain values of a and b either we can remember these formulas or if we don't want to remember we can derive in this way. So here we can observe that we will require all these summations we will require sigma x sigma y sigma x square and then sigma x into y. So to use all these uh, uh, to find out values of a and b we will require all these summations. So first we uh, prepare a table and we find out all these summations. Here x is the number of weeks that is 3528693 that we write in first column. y denote the speed gain that is 86118 up to 109 that we write in the second column. Then we find out product of x and y 3 into 86 is 258 5 times 118 is 590 and so on 4 times 109 equal to 436. In this way we obtain products x into y. Then we take square of each x value 3 square is 9 then 5 square is 25. We have to do all this work we have to find out x into y x square and we have to find out all these sums sigma x is 40 that is sum of all these values then sum of all y values is sigma y which we obtain as 1024 sigma xy turns out to be 6217 and sigma x square becomes 244 then we have written normal equations and uh, write, uh, solving normal equations for A and B, we obtain this formula for B. So either you can remember this formula or you can derive it using Kramer's rule. After that we have to substitute all these values here. Total number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Value of N is 8. And we have obtained all these summations n is 8, sigma xy is 6217, then sigma x and sigma y are 40 and 1024, sigma x square is 244. So we substitute all these summations here and we obtain the value of b as 24.9318. Similarly, we have to remember the formula for a a equal to sigma x square times sigma y minus sigma x times sigma x y divided by n times sigma x square minus sigma x whole square. This denominator remains same because it is determinant d in both the formulas for a and b. So here also we substitute all these summations and using scientific calculator we obtain that a equal to 3.3409 then the required straight line is y equal to a plus bx 
we substitute values of a and b and we obtain the straight line which is of best fit to the given data so in this way by the method of list squares we can obtain the straight line fitted to the given data